Cuts out. Bruce thinking about that Rich Gannon MVP and seeing how he can use it in this debate. <laughs> Get it. Garofolo reporting that Ayuk has officially asked for a trade star wide receiver slated to make about $14 million this year, has watched the wide receiver market explode in the last two seasons. Uh, he's $21 million, making $21 million less than Justin Jefferson. Brandon Ayuk's stats last year, last two years actually, yeah, pretty good, second in yards per reception, courtesy of Brock Purdy, of course, Brew. Are the 49ers in trouble if Ayuk's trade demand is met? Well, if, because, look, the Niners hold all the cards. I, I guess Ayuk, if he really wants to hold out, then he's got some power there. Yeah. Okay? But you don't see a lot of, like, T. Higgins, isn't he in the same situation? Well, except Higgins got franchise tagged, so that's a little right. bit different. But, but he, they is, still have a year. They have Ayuk under contract for a year. Yep. And then they got the possibility of the two franchise tags. Yep. So they really don't have to do anything. I mean, he's making a request to be traded, but is it does it behoove? Now, he's proven he's a great receiver, but there are a lot of receivers out there. And does it behoove him to sit out? a year or at least the start of the season? What if they play well without him? So I just think that I, I think that this is going to be uh, – I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I think he's going to be with the Niners, and I think they're going to call his bluff. Okay. So, and he'll play there. But, yeah, he's – look, Ayuk is great. So he'd so, be a big miss if they lose him. So here's the thing. They – they have the highest paid running back in the league. They have the highest paid tackle in the league. They have a second, highest, or a second or third highest paid tight end in the league. That market might have moved slightly. And Debo makes good money for a wide receiver. Yeah. That market has moved a lot. Who also recently. requested a trade. Debo requested a trade a year ago and then got his money mm -hmm. and got it worked out. The pragmatic thing to do, especially when you are about to have to go from having your starting quarterback be roughly – the 75th highest paid quarterback <laughs> in football to, I assume, one of the highest would be to recoup significant draft capital for, you know, your second best, maybe your best wide receiver. Kind of depends on the year. Yep. Two years ago it was Debo. Last year it was Ayu. He's healthier. These, you know, right. Um, but they're not going to do it because they know that as long as Brock is the quarterback, that he needs to have all the Avengers in place for them to have their best chance at success. And right now they are in a legitimate Super Bowl window, and that That's goes right. out the window, sorry, uh, without this guy. Because forget being able to make it happen without any stars on the outside. He's going to need all of the stars on the outside and the best running back and the best tackle and the second or third best tight end. That is what's going to make this thing go. It's what has made this thing go. So I agree with Brew. The Niners are not going to trade Brandon Ayuk because they can't afford to trade Brandon Ayuk. While the Bills are saying, you know what? We have one legitimate receiver. We can trade him. The Chiefs can trade Tyree Kill. We see receivers get traded. The Niners are saying, I think, are going to say, no. We, we can't afford to do it, even though to clean up their books and to get draft capital, they should do it. They can't because they don't have that force multiplier at the quarterback position. And, and they also need to win it now. Like, if they don't win it this year, if they get, they'll be close what again it, to where, whether that's second round. But they've got a star round, young but, quarterback. No, but still, they, I mean, because you've been close so many times, regardless of your personnel, at a certain point, you have to get over the hump. And they've been, this goes back obviously before Brock Purdy, but they've been knocking on the door for years. And Shanahan has been knocking on the door, whether it was even in Atlanta as the OC. So they have to get over the hump. So I think that's another reason they're not going to make this move. And they don't have to. But if I'm Brandon Ayuk. So you going to sit out? I would go in and be like, look, am I as good as Justin Jefferson? Probably not. Let's be honest. Am I as well, good as A.J. Good. Brown? Maybe, maybe not. No, maybe, though. Maybe. Might am be. I as good as Amon Ross? he's quite as good as A.J. Brown. It, these guys are making $30 million. They're making more. Am I, the, Jalen Wilds making $28. Better way to put I'm it, Wilds, is am I, am I more than half as good? Am I? I'm less. I'm paid half. less than half yeah. as than Jaden Waddle. Jaden Waddle makes twenty-eight point three. Yeah. I make fourteen. Bring me up. 
somewhere. I don't need to be at Justin Jefferson. So can I get me at like twenty seven? He's probably trying Look, to be at that level. Then trade me. Pay. Then I'm, then I can't show up. I can't twist my ankle. It, so, hold on, throw Drew. it to Debo. Can I, that's his leverage. And if he decides he doesn't want to play, then that's that, what will put the Niners in a corner. But how much? But real quick before we move on, because and I'm not saying you're wrong about right. this at all. When the Eagles signed all their guys. You said, I think smartly, that if they're going to get out of the supernatural funk, yes. part of it is people are happy. Right. AJ got his money. Devontae Smith got his money. All right. that. Flip side to that coin is, even if he ultimately shows up, if he skips camp, demands a trade, and then is there under protest, doesn't that immediately, if they are S-Bob, if they are you know, trying to win right now, can't that work against you? And wouldn't you maybe be better off that you, having that clean out of the locker room? It depends on his attitude. I mean, oh. we've seen, like, T. Higgins, we obviously knows, is not happy in Cincinnati. But what'd he say? He's going to play gonna, this year. Uh, with an asterisk. Yeah. But I, I just, here, I, it doesn't behoove a player for, for you want another team to pay you. In a market where there are receivers coming into the league, yeah, every but everybody year, gets very paid. good. Yeah, I know. but it behooves him to be health 100% healthy. That's the healthy. thing that really behooves. Not going to lay it on the line when you guys are paying me 14 million dollars when I should be getting 30. It's on Ayuk. I mean, if he wants to make it ugly, he can, and then that could become a. Problem. All right. So, uh, so the question now becomes, where would Brandon Ayuk fit? Now, yeah. some people would say you need a quarterback on a rookie deal. <laughs> you need, you know, can't go to a team with a lot of highly paid offensive weapons and you want, you know, a culture of winning. So a lot of people are saying New England. Well, New England would make a ton of sense. Let's go. I was partially joking. New England would make a ton of sense we because you, New England's second round pick is basically a first round pick because it'll be the first or second oh, pick dear. of the second round. Oh, and you. so you don't have to trade a first round pick. Um, they have the money. So the I, uh, same conversation, Carolina. Carolina would if you, listen. I that. don't think Carolina should. I might have my questions about Bryce Young. Carolina give should not chance. just give up the idea that you know that Bryce Young can be good. Give him absolutely. a real, you know right. what I mean. So, yeah, so, so give him a real fighting chance. Uh, the two places that, because I don't think they're going to trade him to Detroit. If again, I don't. You and I don't think he they're going to trade right. him. But if they were to, I don't think it's going to be to the team they played in the NFC title game. Right. Everyone's going to point out Steelers in the Washington, Washington because there's been connections. Two teams that would make me displeased as a Chiefs fan. The Ravens and the Chargers. Oh. Chargers don't have wide receivers. Now, it doesn't seem, you know what I mean? They got rid of their, I read yesterday that Justin Herbert has 208 career passing yards without Keenan Allen or Mike Williams on the field. You know what I'm meaning? One of those guys has been on the field for yeah, yeah. his whole his career. Whole career right. So those two teams would be le Ravens, legit. Ravens, scarier. right. And so I'm so, I know I list a bunch of teams. No, I but, I, Drew, but that's I wrote down Baltimore and Buffalo. I thought you were going to – you're I, not scared of Josh Allen no more. No, but it's also money. I think Buffalo is kind of resetting yeah, they, the they salary. Are, but they, they yep. need a receiver. You're 100% right? they, correct. They need a receiver, but those two make sense. Uh, look, the Chargers does make sense. If I'm Brandon Ayuk, and I get it, look, get paid, all right? Go where the money is, and I, I know he'd be happy with that regard. But career-wise, I'm so, with, uh, first, I would not be happy going to Carolina, and I'm not totally giving up on Bryce Young but either, still. but it's just a bad situation. I'm not happy if I'm going to New England and I'm, and I'm Brandon Ayuk. Because obviously I want to get my money, but I want to be a star-wide receiver. You'd be a star. You're a number one. We don't know what Drake May is. But he seems to be okay with Jaden Daniels. We don't know what Jaden Daniels is. Drake May is going to uh, be excellent. I think that and I, I if just, you're Brandon I, I would not That weather for – I mean – Oh, I'm, my God. I'm, you're I'm, the Tua guy. The, I'm just not trying. I, but here's the thing. You, you're I, right. Maybe I'm wrong about that. In theory, I get what you're saying. But Brandon Ayuk's probably also thinking, man – I was a damn near all pro with Jimmy G throwing me hospital balls. I wasn't all pro with, Br with Brock Purdy throwing me these dimes. little duck floaters. Throwing me like, I, 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 no matter where I throwing go, me dimes, I'm going to have an adult, real <laughs> NFL quarterback. So uh, let's go. Like, Just quickly, do you think he should? He doesn't have a Super Bowl. He's close, knocking on the door. Do you think that should be part of his equation no. or it's just cash? He's never gotten just paid. Just get paid. Get paid. It, it, he's a wide receiver. He's just yeah. got to go get right. paid. Go to New England, get both. 
Okay. This I, guy. I told you. New decades, England does make sense I know. before you got it. Because they got the money. Because they got the money. The se Their second round picks, the most valuable second round pick in football. Winning tradition. The, I mean, that counts for something. It's over a while. You can look I'm at the trophies. <laughs>